Hello everyone, welcome to the ZStream. Today I have a tutorial for you on how to modify uh, properties of blocks that already exist in the game. First of all, I'd like to give special thanks to No Troop for suggesting this tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make obsidian break like redstone wire that easily. Because obsidian is a real pain in this game takes forever to mine even with a diamond pickaxe so what we're going to do I'm gonna assume that you've already set up MCP if you haven't click the link right now and go to either the PC or the Mac version of my tutorial on how to set up MCP so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up edit rocket oh and also thank you big 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 thanks to West of Eden for giving me a uh, registration code for um, edit Rocket, that's very kind of you. Now I can use Edit Rocket for the rest of my life and I never have to register ever again. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is in Edit Rocket we're going to navigate to our MCP folder as we usually do and we're going to go into Minecraft Net Minecraft SRC. This is where all our classes is. Uh, classes are, sorry. And what we're going to do is you're going to look for the block.java class. This is very, very simple to do. All you have to do is you have to scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see this huge chunk of code here. And it'll all say, like, door steel equals new block door, blah, blah, blah. And this you'll notice that there's a pattern. A certain line of code is repeated over and over and over again using different blocks. Basically, this is where it sets all the parameters for all blocks in the game. So here we have button, snow, ice, uh, block, snow, cactus, clay, reed, you name it. It's probably here. So what we're going to do is we're going to find obsidian or whatever block you want to change. So I'm going to look for obsidian or diamond. Here, obsidian, I found it, line 701. Um, and it says obsidian equals new block obsidian 49, which is the uh, which is the data value. So if you type in give uh, Snowby Dude 49, that'll give you obsidian. And 37, that might be the hexadecimal data value. Anyway, it's not important right now. What we're looking for is set hardness right here. And if you'll notice... On obsidian, it says set hardness 10F. F stands for float. It's a type of number for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's not a type of number. It's like uh, the, the size of a number. Anyway, that's not important. Basically, it says 10, and that may not seem big to you, but if you look at all the other lines around it, for example, if you scroll down, you look at torch wood, it says set hardness to 0. Fire, set hardness to 0. Mob spawner, which if you know are pretty strong, is only set hardness to five. Okay, if you look at everything else here, even diamond is only set to five. Um, so what I'm trying to say, in a loopy sort of ma fashion, is, oh, why did I say fashion? I meant manner. In a loopy sort of manner, what I'm trying to say is that um, ten is really big. And that is why obsidian is so annoying to mine. So all you have to do is say um, set hardness and replace this with like zero or any number you want really. You could set it to 100 if you want to like piss people off. You'd probably spend like 10 minutes trying to break it with a diamond pickaxe if you set it to 100. Um, I'm going to set it to like 2 or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put a little comment here to show that I've edited this. You should be careful with your code because I've uh, I've broken my Minecraft multiple times in the past week and I've downloaded it over and over again a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, changed obsidian's uh, hardness. You can do this for any block. You could make like torches impossible to break if you really wanted to. Um, and while I'm here, I will explain to you what all these other parameters are. After set hardness, that sets how difficult it is to break. Set resistance sounds very similar, but it's uh, it's slightly different. Set resistance uh, determines how easy how easily the block is broken by um, TNT when it's exploding. So 2000F, that's uh, basically indestructible. 
Um, you'll notice the other ones only say like 10 or 0 or 10. Yeah. So it says 2000. That's why Obsidian is basically indestructible unless you set up the damage for TNT really high. Um, and then set step sound. That's uh, it goes and retrieves the sound effect that it plays when you step on it, when you walk over Obsidian. And then here at the end it says set block name Obsidian. And uh, I think that's if you hover over it, uh, that's what name it shows. Now, I'm just trying to think. I have a problem right now because I just made, this is, this is, I'm doing this in single player. How am I going to get Obsidian in single player? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I won't test it for you guys because uh, I have I don't have any way of giving myself obsidian so I can show you how easily it breaks. But I'm very sure that this works. Actually, I do have a way of testing it. Um, I'll just do it with something easier to get. Like here, watch over here. Oh wait, no, not wood. I'm gonna look for logs. Log, log, log. Lava still. Oh, bedrock. Oh. Here, look at this. This is interesting. See? Remember what I just taught you? Um, set resistance, that's how difficult it is to break with with TNT. And here I found bedrock. It says set resistance is, what is this? Um, one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. That's six million. So rest assured that is impossible to break with TNT. Um, it's also set hardness negative one F. That's really weird. Maybe if you set it to a negative number, it's just impossible to break. That's possible. Um, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for log. 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 Damn it, there's so many. Mm. Control F, Command F, log. Search for log. Oh, okay, fine, it's called wood. Let's just be technical. Okay. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because oh, is because it's uh, diff it's too difficult for me to find obsidian. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to wood, and I'm going to show you that it works. Um, so change log hardness, um, and I'm going to set this hardness is usually at two. I'm going to set it to zero point one. Okay. Command S. And now we will do the usual. We will go to modding folder MCP, open up terminal, and we're typing CD, which I now know means change directory. Thank you for all of those who explained that to me in my first video. It's very nice of you. CD, and then we're going to drag in MCP. For those of you who don't know, CD stands for change directory. And basically, it's the equivalent of opening up a folder in, uh, like, using this graphical graphics user interface GUI. Um, it's the terminal equivalent. So basically, now terminal is just working from MCP, and we're gonna type in bash, recompile. Like I usually say, if you don't know what I'm doing, you should uh, go watch um, how to set up MCP because I think I explained it in there. And if you are on a PC, if you're using Windows right now, all you have to do is, t uh, is double click here on this recompile.bat. For Mac users, you have to drag, you have to type bash, and drag it in, but Windows users only have to double click on the .bat file, the batch file. Okay, so I'm going to do test game, press enter. It's going to open up Minecraft. And we're going to go single player, new world, sure. By the way, guys, you know how, uh, you know how in a multiplayer server when you put down a uh, when you when you put down a mob spawner it only spawns pigs? Yeah, well recently, just this evening I figured out how to make it spawn creepers. It's really cool. And I set the delay to 0 so it's like a torrent of creepers. Anyway, back on topic. Here, watch this. Mm. Mm. There we go. Do you see how easily I'm breaking this? And I'm just using my fist. See this? See this? This is like the equivalent of a diamond axe. And I'm just destroying it with my fist. Um, and anyway, 
that's how you set blocks the hardness of a block really low if you like these tutorials as I always say please subscribe and uh, because I'm coming out with a lot more very cool ones um, thanks for watching guys